Uh, good morning. It's pretty decent sleep. It is a little after 7 a.m. reason why I'm up so early is because I'm supposed to go make another attempt to see the therapist today, but I feel like crap. I've had the shits, which, yes, is a side effect of the synthetics. But anyway... I'm gonna cave and cancel the appointment, schedule something with someone closer because where they want me to go is too far for someone who doesn't have the money or the transportation to make it. Um, And as I'm waking up and doing this, I'm reminded of fifth grade when I was in public high school. No, that was fifth grade high school? No. Morning head. Fuzzy. Foggy. Fifth grade public school. I had a morning where I woke up and I wasn't feeling well. My forehead felt cool. My temperature was okay. But I felt like crap. I don't remember exactly why, but I felt like crap and didn't want to go to school. They made me go to school kicking and screaming. And when I got into the class, the kid that sat, sat next to me said something about, you know, have a rough morning. I took it as insult. I thought he was mocking me, making fun of me. I was in no mood to hear anything from anyone, and I started swinging. And I spent the rest of the day in the school's office. Because somebody didn't want to enable me into doing the wrong thing. I wasn't well that day. I should not have gone to that school today. That I should not have gone to school that day. Because I was not well. I may not have been physically sick. But I was not well. And it got me to thinking about all the times later in life when I wasn't feeling well. But no, I couldn't give up. I couldn't just give in. I had to try. I had to do my best. And I pushed myself through. Through sickness and pain. Even when it was... <coughs> sickness and twisted ankles and busted fingers or whatever kind of pains. The real danger though all that time was the illness spinning around in here. Those invisible illnesses. They may be invisible but they are real. <sighs> so yeah. I'm going to go back to bed for a little bit, and when I get up, see about finding a therapist that's closer, closer than all the way out there.
He gave my best yesterday and I screwed it up. I wasn't prepared. I didn't research on where I needed to go. And it sucked. Yeah, I could take the time and do the right research and sort it all out, but in the meantime, about 10 minutes away, there's the Community Mental Health Center, which is where I had gone to schedule an appointment for a therapist. And then when they assigned me a therapist, they send me one that's a couple towns away. What's up with that? Really? What's up with that? Anyway, this is a recovery day too, and I'll see you later.